This is Hydrogen Tap. There's a follow-up on the last three videos, starting with video 100, going over the unusual energy coming out of the magnets, rare earth magnets. I've had a lot of video, a lot of emails concerning this, coming up with all kinds of speculation, which is good. Right now, what we're going to do is we've got this on ohms to read the resistance of the magnets. You can see my test equipment there. Perhaps this will narrow down some of the interesting comments I've had. There's the cell that I've got it hooked up to. Remember, this is going from the cell through the magnets. to the batteries. We have an ohm meter in the background there and what we're going to do is measure the resistance between the rare earth magnets. You can see I'm zeroing it out. That's what happens when you zero it out. That'd be zero resistance and we're going to measure resistance across the magnets. A lot of people have said, well I've got a break between the magnets or there's rust or there's a corrosion or something is keeping the magnets separate so there's not continuity between it. Now we're going to test that out. Putting a lead on both sides of the magnet and look at this. 0 0.01. Yeah, I would say there's definitely continuity across the magnets. I don't want to rip the magnets apart. As I explained, and because the idea is to test what you have, not to disrupt it. Now I'm taking a reading from each magnet. And as you can see, the resistance pretty much is the same. There's almost none. If there was a break or a fault, you would see the resistance go way up. It would show you a 1 on the left, like that. As you can see, it's reading across. have complete resistance. It has to be a 1 like you see on the left side. Well, I think that pretty well proves we've got continuity between the two, between the first magnet and the last magnet. The, the corrosion or the breaks on the magnet does not affect it. And all of that is actually on the outside. And even if it was on the inside, you still get continuity between the magnets. What we're going to do is, is do a couple of experiments. Here you can see the voltage at 12.9. I'm going to hook up the charger to it, so it's going to go up to around 14 volts. That really shouldn't make any difference, but I doing it to keep the battery steady. What I'm trying to do is narrow down all the possibilities. One of the questions, it's a nagging question, is what's keeping the voltage from going through the magnets? There's a couple of obvious reasons, and that would be the magnetic field. The other problem we have is what cause the energy discharge. Since everyone was speculating that we had bad magnets between or bad or some kind of problem between the magnets causing a short, 
now we've pretty well proven that's not the case. What I did was run the power through the unit for a second and now we're getting interesting readings. Now I've got it set to voltage. If there's a voltage between the battery and the cell, you would get a reading there, and we did not. So the power is off. We're not getting any reading across the magnets, which means there's nothing. The magnets are not holding any power. And yet, when we put it up, right now we're reading the voltage. When we change that to read the ohms or the amount of resistance, the resistance has changed. I've got it back on resistance here. And look at it. 